Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Above the Bar podcast, where each week we belly up to the bar with a new guest, find out what they do, who they are, and what makes them great. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alrighty, folks, welcome back to the Above the Bar podcast. It's your host, Sean. We have bellied up to the bar. We are making things happen. It is the Wednesday after Turkey Day. Hopefully everyone is good and stuffed and relaxed and survived Turkey Day. No no family members attacked <laughs> each other with drumsticks or anything along those lines. But this would be a good show if they did and you took pictures of it and you have evidence that it happened. <laughs> because joining us today, not Noah of the Ark, but Noah of the Art Kit. A man who, two by two, will bring your photos to a new level. Will make sure that you know you have every option to to make it into a special book that we can all forever read. We've brought with us Mr. Noah of MyArtKit.com. You didn't know you were getting applause and shit, did you? I know. I know. You know, everybody needs applause. At least some point in your <laughs> life, you need someone to have applauded for you. So this is this was your opportunity to get that. No, how's it going there, brother? Oh, it's going fantastic. I had, had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, it's been kind of hectic the last couple of weeks, but it's been, been waiting for this podcast. It's been it sounded really fun. Kind of kind of didn't wait to scratch the surface. Now, I got to ask, um, fried, baked or smoked turkey? oh my gosh i've had smoked turkey before which is just fantastic i've had deep fried turkey which was fantastic grandma's turkey which is fantastic and it's, if it's turkey blah 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 turkey i'll eat it, it you're good either way so either we way. we smoked ours for the last two years brined and smoked the last Ooh. two years which is just outstanding in the rain now how, what's what smoker um I've got an electric uh, smoker that you put the wood chips in it. I can't remember the brand on it, yeah, but I will tell you, I've got friends that have the, like the pellet smokers, like the Traegers. If you want to know if somebody's got a Traeger, just stand next to them for a minute. They'll tell you. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. They'll be bragging on it. You know, I got a Traeger, right? Got the yeah. Traeger. Yeah. But uh, we like this one because it's actual wood chips, but you can smoke out when it's colder, like, like it gets in the Northeast. You can still use it because it's electric. It regulates on its own. So it's not like the wood ones that you, you run into all those issues with. But uh, Does it an auger feed like Krager? No. No, it's got like a uh, like a little handle and it's got a little uh, a metal metal tin inside of it that okay. you just take it and uh, you, you fill that tin up with your chips and they're good for five to six hours. Oh, dump perfect. Them, dump them yeah. uh, so well, that not- the, the turkey smoked was 30 minutes a pound. Oh, now I'm hungry. Yeah. Well, I mean, I do. I have that effect. Look, if if, <laughs> if uh, Nathan shows up in a minute here, uh, he, he will definitely war machine just popped up. Smoked is probably the best, but I haven't tried fried war machine. Let me tell you, if you haven't tried fried yet, fried is just a, a, a different game all in of itself. And it's great yeah. because it's like 10 minutes a pound or something silly. Like a huge smoke. You can deep fry a bird super fast. Oh, yeah, did we lose? I, I thought I lost you for a second, Noah. Who, me? No, I'm still here. But, but yeah, so I, want, what, I appreciate you coming out, and you're coming to us all the way from the left coast. Yep. Out in, out in, out in Washington State. So uh, another one of those places that I, I keep saying, my wife and I keep talking about, we want to travel. And uh, throw this out here real quick. For those of you that are just finding us, if you're finding uh, Noah through through us or you're finding uh, us through, through Noah, please give a like, follow, share, subscribe, all those different, different things, whatever – social media that you're on so we can talk we can know who you are we can get some information out to you uh you can see when the shows are happening if you see my eyes looking away it's because i'm sharing it to all kinds of locations so that everybody can find us and my wife does the same thing and we appreciate her but let's uh get to some house cleaning here real quick folks if you're just joining us you'll learn about this but everybody else knows over my right shoulder that's the big board for sticker and a cause if you've got something that you're supporting something you believe in something you're you're involved in. I don't care if you've got your own 
uh, art kit or you've got your own brewery, whatever it happens to be that you've got going on. If you go ahead and you reach out to us on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, I don't care what it is. It's all the above the bar podcast. Even our Gmail is the above the bar podcast at gmail.com. Reach out to us there. Tell me what you got going on. I'll give you the address and we'll put your sticker up there. The last one was uh, for a comic book that we met the folks for it. They gave us a sticker. They're up there now. So make sure you reach out. Let us know what you got going on there. Maybe your media, your media might need need to be two by two because it's rough. It's happening. They're hurting. Well, make sure you reach out to Media by Dibs. That's D I B S. Media by Dibs. Oh, oh, Sandy Lee finally got here. Well, we're glad you finally made it, Sandy <laughs> Lee. Uh, reach out to Media by Dibs. That's D I B S on Facebook and on uh, Instagram. Tell Dibs that you're there to belly up to the bar. He's going to give you a 10% discount on your first order and a free consultation on what you got going on. Now, the last thing, everybody who's been on here, if you listen to a couple episodes, you know I always talk about Phoenix Shaven. Doug Smythe, he was on the show long ago. He was one of our early guests. Doug and I became buddies. Love his product, Phoenix Shaving. Well, Doug reached out to me the other day and said, hey, Murph, I want to give away two of our traditional wet shaving kits. If you don't know what, uh, uh, I don't, hold on there, Nate. Uh, two of his traditional wet shaving kits. <laughs> and if you don't know what wet shaving is, that's the stuff you saw on TV with a puck and a razor and you screw it on. Go back and listen to that episode with Doug about shaving. He talks about, and, and I there's a great comedian, I can't think of his name right now, who talks about, if you don't believe at least one conspiracy theory, he, does, he doesn't trust you, and I agree with him. Can't think they're everybody's batting a thousand. You know, there's got to be at least one. <laughs> but he talks about how Gillette, prior to 1970 something, was losing. The, they were going to lose their patent on the safety razor. So then they came up with the multiple head razor. Prior to them doing that, nobody, you men like like us, we didn't have sensitive skin. When you add multiple blades, you start taking off layers of skin, so your skin becomes sensitive. Doug has come out with the old traditional razors, very stylish, very nice, but he's given away two kits. If you go to any of our social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, uh, any of the social media, you should be able to find the link. Go on, get your entries in. You can enter every day. There's multiple ways to get extra entries in by following us on Instagram, following Phoenix Shaving on Instagram. We're going to give away two of these kits. Uh, the can't promise that they'll be there by Christmas, but the goal is this is going to end on the 14th to get them to people by Christmas. Have enough time. They're $60 kits, folks. They're going to get Doug's giving away two of them for free. So make sure you do that. If you do it and you let me know that you did it on here before the show's over, you let me know, you put your entries in. I'll give you a shout out. We'll see if we can find something else to do for you. I don't know. No one I'll talk. Maybe we'll figure something out. Uh, <laughs> and the last thing is, Everybody's asking, is Dibs going to be on? Dibs is not going to be on tonight, I don't think. He is studying for uh, a teacher certification. If you didn't know it, he's been working as a substitute teacher. He's in the in the UP in Michigan. I think he only teaches like penguins and polar bears, but who knows? There, it's like he's the only person I know who goes south to get to Canada. It's the thing up there. But uh, make sure you, you, you wish him a lot of luck if you can find Dibs. He's uh, studying for that, so I don't think he's going to make it tonight. All right. Everything's done. We're all done there. Show's <laughs> over. We're good. <laughs> I talked through everything today. Hey, see everybody later. <laughs> all right there, Mr. No. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. How's it going, Sean? I am doing quite well. Yeah, those poor students. I don't know. He Look, at least there's a <laughs> Marine in the front of the classroom. <laughs> so why don't you give everybody kind of a rundown on, uh, look, Dibs is at least listening to us. He's at least listening. Uh, why don't you give everybody a little bit of a rundown? My, well, how about this? I'll do one better. Okay. My understanding of my art kit, and this is what I like about it, is you're able to take those photos that are on our phones, on our tablets, on our computers that are there forever in a day and create, you know, actual physical things, not just like, oh, look, I can go into what's, what's the one, um, one of those ones where I can't think of the name of it, where they just send you a picture, not just a picture. You get a, an actual 
nice product out of it. Am I explaining it right or am I? Uh, no. We don't produce a product. The product is the actual you you buy uh, ten gigabytes of lifetime account because I've I've been if you actually it's it's kind of nice to have a photo album or photo book. I always tell you, those those are really cool. They should be made. They're nice, but they don't survive one or two or three generations because they get lost. And uh, so what I kind of figured out, it was actually back in the, uh, it was back in the nineties. I was talking with my dad. I sat him down with an old video cam recorder and I just started talking to him about his life. He started, he started making memories and I love these memories of how much a gallon of milk was. He was in the uh, Korean war. He was a paper boy forever, things like that. And then I basically, a couple of years after that, he passed away. And then I had these memories. And then, then I basically burned a DVD. Okay, that's always, and then what? Where's the that's DVD? Cool. Yeah, where, oh, I could just burn another one. Well, what computer is that on? So I started to brainstorm about how, and then all of a sudden you have all these pictures in these old photo albums that are gonna get, tried to get handed down to, well, which kid gets the photo album? who actually has memories to each photo. So what we did is you can actually get a lifetime account. Let's say you have uh, a picture on your phone that's really special to you, like you and your son, maybe doing something. You click that, you upload it to your account. You can put an audio story to it, or you can put a written story to it. Just tell a really good story to it. And when you arc it, it's archived into your lifetime account that decades and decades and decades from now, people, people uh, will be able to um, see what you were like. And, and you know what I think so great about it is, you, like you said, there's a written or an audio to it. I have, and I could go grab them right now. I have my grandmother's photo albums from when she passed away. And my cousin and I split the photo albums. There's pictures in there that I know some of the people, but these were my grandmother's people. And there might be something written on the back of them that says 1948, 1952, yeah. you know, and, you know, such and such, and, like some people's names. But my grandmother's not around to say this was at such and such beach in Maryland with my cousin, you know, this person. There's nothing that really details it. So I don't know. Like you said, my my kids are going to go. These are our people, but I don't know them. And there's nobody to tell us who they were. All right, all right. You, you, you lose a lot of the emotion. You lose a lot of the story. And nowadays, we've actually transitioned into a digital lifestyle. From cradle to grave, we are digital. Let's take advantage of that and take those goods. I mean, my gosh, people got great, got great, even things like great recipes or things like that, they, they can actually share and hand down. Ooh, recipes. Well, you know, it's funny you say recipes. Like that was another thing. When my father passed away a couple of years ago, I had to make sure that um, my stepmother sent me some of my dad's recipes. So I had them. Uh-huh. So I, I understand. And Kim, Kim just said, uh, Kim, Gep, Kim, I hope I don't jack your name all up. Gebhart. I'm going to say it, that's. It's Gebhart. Gebhart. Look at that. If you yeah. didn't, if you haven't learned it, Noah, I butcher names. I don't mean to do it, and I apologize all the time, <laughs> but I mutilate names. But, uh, yeah, Kim's absolutely right. It, it's an amazing idea. So how, you know, 10 gigabytes. I, I don't know about you. I could eat through 10 gigabytes in a heartbeat. Like, I, I pay Apple for extra storage space. I pay Google for extra storage space. Um, what? I found a few extra space storage what? Look at this. Do you hear this bullshit right now? <laughs> okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, oh, stop. It's not to Google. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She'll just chime in any, any old time she wants to. She heard me say something about extra space, and next thing I know, she wants to chime yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. They're listening to you. About that. But, you know, <laughs> comparing the, the two, where, like, can you get more than 10? Is there a process? Oh, yeah. To oh, yeah. yeah. We try it. We start off with 10 because that's worth a two, 3,000 pictures with memories or ah. you get, a lot of times what you're thinking of, everybody wants to upload these million, you know, 30 minutes worth of videos and stuff. People don't want to watch those. 
That's why we even limit our videos to 10 minutes to where tell a story, tell a great emotion or a great memory, and then arc it and then grab another one. You're not going to save every single one of your pictures because they don't really tell too much. But you have those special pictures, those special moments. You grab those memories, put a good story to it, a good memory, and that's the one you want to arc it. Nathan wants to know, have you have you taken any photos of your favorite foods and uh, arc those yet? Ah, uh, food. Yeah. There's, I'm going to say no, but I, I can I can definitely have definitely do a chili recipe and some other things. I did a pork loin race the other day that was just killer. Oh, we look. We, I told you beforehand we make left turns all the time. <laughs> Talk about pork loin. We were talking about the smoked turkey. Uh, my two of my sons uh, were coming over, and uh, they were. I was like, ah, are you guys coming over? And first off, my wife's a horrible person sometimes to me. So I'm like, hey, are both, <laughs> are both the boys coming over? Oh, yeah, the one, is, the one is, the other isn't. I'm like, I just got off the phone with him not 10 minutes ago, and he said he's going to be here. She goes, well, he made a, made a deal with somebody to go help him do some maintenance, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I sent him a message. He didn't respond to me. I'm like, I'm going to whoop his ass. He's catching an ass. And then he walks through the door because I was mad because I smoked uh, two pork loins that I oh had yes that would be nice all day like if you've never had like that was and he sits down and he eats it he goes oh my god what is this I'm like this is smoked pork loin but look we started talking about food next thing you know uh, Sky I agree with you if you have an amazing uh, cinnamon roll recipe I would like to know it I've never made homemade cinnamon rolls uh, Sandy wants to know so what about those photos you have in a box or an album that are not on the computer so like the like I said I, I've got these albums of my grandmother's that my kids, they're not God. Uh, my one son, I'll have to see if he can grab one of them just to, to get an idea for for those of you that are out there that don't remember what a photo album is. Uh, <laughs> they, they, you know, they're cumbersome just to travel yeah. with them. Well, an easy way there's you can actually get there's many services out there where you can take your stuff in like your old VHS, even old film, and have it digitized. I, I kind of tell people, don't do everything at once. Do kind of like little bit by little bit because it's um, it's safer to sometimes mail things through the mail if you're going to do those services. You don't want to lose everything at one time. Uh, an individual picture, you can do it as simple as taking your phone and just take a picture of it. Because basically, you're not looking for a great resolution. You're just looking for uh, a memory. Yeah, you want the image itself. All right. And then I have what I bought. Um, I had to buy a document scanner to so kind of get an idea what this little guy okay. is. Ah, that little guy right there. There it is. Little Epson document scanner. And I had a box of uh, photographs and stuff, you know, out of albums. And uh, I just plugged it in and just got zip, 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 zip. And I just scanned everything that I wanted to have uploaded in the ARCIT and in my ARCIT. And, uh, you know, you digitize anything, you choose the good stuff, and then arc it. Now, uh, War Machine, is there a downloadable option where you can make albums with photos and videos, then export them to a flash drive or something? So basically, can I go in there, make up my own collage of whatever I need, and then just fire it off? Because I have another question about something. Because this is interesting. Like, okay. And folks, I, this is fascinating to me that, you know, that you're able to put this together on you know these servers and hold this stuff well that uh basically servers nowadays are all virtual servers all accounts. yeah virtual accounts so basically when i was doing my my uh my brainstorming how i was trying to want to bring this past a lot of people what was going on the professionals and things like that and that's why we use amazon web services as our virtual servers and as our backup our first line of backup and as we get bigger as we kind of reach the certain mark, we're actually then going to double back up with a total different company altogether, which is Iron Mountain, which backs up for banks. I know. And, right, and basically, so we're going to have backup after backup after backup. And then eventually, way, way in the, well, not way in the future, but as people, you know, say they pass away and you don't really have a lot of attention to a certain account a lot of times. They have the ability to uh, do what they call a DVD, ar archival DVDs. And they have these, oh. these archival DVDs. 
you're kind of chopping up on me a little little bit there, Noah. I don't know if I've lost you completely, but uh, I'm curious how many. Well, Noah's getting ready to come back to us. He's he's frozen in time. See this? He, yeah, yeah. You look we got like a, a snowstorm going on here. Ah, uh, well, yeah. you know, you look like a picture for a minute that I was thinking we could take this picture of Noah right now and upload <laughs> it, and then we would have this moment forever where Noah froze on us. You know, it happens. But uh, <laughs> so I'll tell you what I was curious of. So is it a situation where like, so say I, I set it up and I, I've got okay. all my, my family photos up there. And then all of a sudden I want other family members to have access. Is there like a password that like is just an access password that they can't mess with anything? What they can, what you do is you have, let's say you start with the basic, your lifetime account. What you want to do is upload you, not everything that has to deal with your family. You can't, you can't, you can do that. Like my brother, when he passed away, uh, he didn't really have a whole bunch to really do 10 gigabytes. So on my mom's um, lifetime account, we just made a folder for him or an album. And that, okay. was my bro that was my brother there. So you don't need every single time you need an individual account, but we have the, um, you have the capability of a person. You, you can send an invite to somebody, an uh, email. And you invite them to be on my market. If they accept it, they just basically mac out their uh, their email and their password, and they get what they call a, a view only account or a thirty day. Fee. And they can do. And then what you do is you get permission from them to see their stuff, and they get permission from you to see it, your your stuff. So it's so, very private. I like. So Sandy says her photos go back to the turn of the century. I got some of those too. I got so, some of those too. I got ten types. <laughs> so. What's your background? I'm more curious, you know, what was your background then, Noah, that, you know, that you, what were you doing before this, this whole piece? Uh, uh, that's a lot of lifetimes ago. <laughs> uh, tell, you, tell you, I was a um, uh, uh, residential journeyman electrician. And then before that, I was also a commercial photographer. And before that, I was also an auto mechanic. So I've done a little bit of everything. And basically one day I had my dad's stuff and I'm, I'm sitting in my van out by uh Shelton down the river. It wasn't down by the river, right? It was near a, not quite the, that way. Yeah. It was stagnant <laughs> water, but I'm sitting there eating. Yeah, I'm having my, I'm having my ham sandwich for lunch. I'm sitting there going, what am I going to do with this stuff? I'd really like to be able to pass it on to my kids, but it's just everything. I look at this and or that or that or this, and this is like more than 10 years ago. And, and all of a sudden I started brainstorming on what if you could do this or what if you could do that? And we kind of really had to wait for technology to kind of catch up with sometimes the idea. So what year did you start this? Uh, we actually got the name MyArchit probably about 10 years ago. Oh, wow. So you, yeah, wow. MyArchit.com. And basically I, I, I've been trying to get people interested in, and it's one of those things you can't really get people interested unless you kind of show them what you're doing. So I kind of made a mock-up website. And I've been showing people for that for, you know, eight, nine years until basically I decided to go ahead and um, bite the bullet, take some uh, a loan out against the house and program it. Not me, but I had the professionals program it and away we went. So I always love entrepreneurs. I love anybody who can who really just throws that, you know, we say it, we say throw caution to the wind and say, hey, I'm going to own my own destiny. And I've always found that. What were some of the people's reaction in your life? I mean, you're talking, you were a journeyman electrician. I know my, my stepbrother's uh, an electrician in Maryland. Scale for those guys is like 50 some dollars an hour. You know, so you can make serious money. What was some of the reactions that you were getting when you were like, yeah, I'm quitting my job. I'm going to uh, have people upload their pictures to a, to a website. And, <laughs> and, and we're going to keep it for them. Well, it's, it's I don't think I've ever had maybe two quasi negative people go quasi negative on me. And one, one guy was, uh, he emailed one time or on a chat room or whatever it was. And he said, Oh, you could just put that up in Google. Why are you making people blah, blah, blah. I says, yeah, if you don't touch Google for two years on your Google, you know, your cloud, it goes bye-bye. Oh, I didn't know that. That was going to be my question to you was like, what's the, so I didn't know that. So if you don't touch your Google for two years, they just delete your shit out. Apple's about 180 days. Really? 
Yeah, people don't understand that. Oh, I'm just going to be. And at the same time, what people are doing, they're having all these thousands of pictures that are being uploaded into the cloud. They have no meaning. They have no stories behind them. Put some stories behind it. And actually, when they when they actually uh, use our cloud services, um, we just we don't have a time limit on it when if somebody doesn't touch their 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 account. Well, you said it's life. You know, it's it's a lifetime membership. Correct. Yeah. You, you buy the 10 gigabytes one time. And it's it. The, the lifetime membership piece is what I like also. So I have a buddy, Chanel S.A. Grant. He's been on here as a great big podcaster. He, he always says, don't buy subscriptions if you if you can avoid it. Look for right. things that have one time purchase, lifetime updates. I've had I've had people for war, some of the professionals uh, sit there and go, oh, you need to get, a, you know, like a 1995 monthly subscription and i go what if when somebody buys their subscription and they actually pass away in six months and somebody else has had their subscription for 60 years is it fair well, yeah. that, well you, those professionals will tell you well if they pass away they, they didn't touch it you know now just delete their stuff and create no, more space no. that's my, my my big thing is save the memories of the people that's that's my big thing is I want to, I work with people. I just got done working with a guy. We signed up an account with uh, stage four lung cancer. And mm -hmm. it's just, you just really feel for those people. I want them to get their stories in there. I want them to get their feelings or their, their emotions of what they really feel. And it's going to be private. It's going to be with their family. Well, that was going to be my uh, other question is, is, you know, what kind of stories are you getting like from people? Are they reaching out to you personally and saying, Hey, you know, this is what's up in there. Or, or have you had anything where it's somebody's like, Hey, look, that's grandma's stuff is in there. We don't know how to get it, you know? Uh, well, that's what we also do is we actually looked into the future too, to where when you get a lifetime account, you sign up uh, somebody, you know, as your executor. So if you do pass away, they have the ability to go into your account and turn it to a memorial account. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And everything that is in your account is locked because that was the stuff you put in there. But more people, if if they're you know if they send stuff to your account like condolences and other things like that, can still be added. But the stuff you put in there cannot be touched. So I had an aunt that passed away of cancer a few years ago, and she was always taking great photos. And I have maybe a couple somewhere buried. That would have been a, the perfect thing for her as she was going through cancer treatment to be able to to pull those photos or to be able to yeah. see those things. And yeah. she was, she was a true hippie. She, <laughs> she was the epitome of that, uh, went to Woodstock. Oh and, my gosh. Really? Oh yeah. Like, but you never, you ever heard that the thing about how people when they're young, they're Democrats. And then once they have a good job, they're Republicans, that whole thing. That was my aunt. She like was a pure, true hippie. And towards the end of her life, she was, uh, she did a mission for university of Maryland. And towards the end of her life, she was like so far on the other side. She was like, these kids, this. I'm like, really? This is the lady that like took me to go see the Beach Boys and like, uh, and like season season ticket holder at concerts and stuff like that. I'm like, you're she's like, oh, I'm so done with all of them. So so what's so what's the next iteration for you? Like where where is this moving towards? Well, we do have a new service that's we're bringing out in December. We have just a couple little tweaks to do to it, but we're going to launch that in December. It's actually launched right now, but I haven't really been advertising on it. So now, and, uh, oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say. So, so what's this new piece? Well, uh, imagine uh, uh, it's what they call events. Okay, imagine you ever go into a, a wedding. So you said, as you say that, my son brings me. Like this, uh, 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 we can get rid of this thing with, with your this is my parents wedding album <laughs> i mean look at this thing you want to yeah, wouldn't it be great to get pictures of all those look at or that. stories from all those yeah look at that like That's this cool. thing is but these are all you want to see handsome though folks let's talk about handsome. <laughs> that is a good, that is a good looking kid there man are your pretty. brother no, that's me. Come oh, on now. Okay. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Give me a little credit. So, <laughs> God, like you never. Know, but this is the good. This is the good thing about photo albums. I mean, this is the only thing I, I'll, I'll give you one one ding. 
photo albums always had random shit stuffed in. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It's just laughs> most, like, like why is this in here? Oh, we thought we wanted to save that till later. So tell us about yeah. the events. So what's the events? Events. Okay. You've been to a wedding, right? Yes. Okay. You've been to some of those weddings where they have little cameras on the, on each table. Yes. Yeah. And they got to take pictures and everybody tries to gather them up. Then you got to get them, you know, the, uh, processed and everything like that. Honestly. We go one or two steps better than that. We have events where let's say the event owner, which is a uh, bride and it's the same size starting out 10 gigabytes. But what they do is they send out an invite to all their people are going to go to the wedding, inviting oh. them to be a participant in the wedding through my market. So it's a, a simple genius. thing. Of, it's just, just you just kind of sign up for it. You put your email in it. It's all free to them. And now they can go to either the mobile app or go to the browser, but they can click away, click, 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 and do like that. And all of a sudden it's like they can go back home or on their phone and they can tell a story. Oh, I can remember when we first met you, you know, when you guys first met and blah, 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 you know, the horse kicked you in the head. You couldn't remember who you were, <laughs> you know, things like that. Oh and, then ba <laughs> and basically when they arc it, it goes over to the event owner and the event owner gets to moderate it and put it on the event page. So everybody who participates in it gets to go to the, the MyArca event page and see all the all the stories and all the everything that everything that's missed by the normal photographer. You can go all the way back to kid pictures when they when they when they were doing uh, when she's accepting the proposal. And then this also works great with things like uh, like a yearbook or going to college. Or a mission when people go on a mission, everybody gets to participate in that event. See, I, as you're explaining, I'm thinking about other events like going to, like we were joking around about Woodstock, being able to go to something like that, and event promoters being able to say, "Hey, this is your my market link. Put your stuff up there." And them being able, because you know the way people are. Everybody, look, that's my photo that I'm getting no credit for, that they're going to get a million dollars for every time it's, <laughs> you know, they want that. For an event promoter, I would think this this would be like a no-brainer. Hey, here's your here's the QR code. Scan this QR code. You can go to my market, upload your photos, tell your story of the of the show, yeah, the and event. then turn right around <laughs> and you know, the, as a promoter, you can then turn around and create videos or whatever you need, because now you have all this content that you didn't have to, you didn't have to go get it from Instagram. You didn't have to go get it from TikTok or wherever it's uploaded right to this. And people can then go back and do the same thing of going and looking for it. I mean, as you, like you said, as a viewer. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, I think it's going to work great with people, you know, the, the yearly events like going to Sturgis or even a family reunion. I did that. I've, I've done one for my own family where you have all those old family pictures. Yes. You upload all the old family pictures and now you, you, you have people within your family. You can make more than one moderator. And then all of a sudden, oh, I remember what that picture was. And they can go to it, put the story to it. And then all of a sudden, everybody's kind of like up, updating the family photo album from all different areas. God, where were you? Like... This is one of those things, as, as you hear it more and more, your wheels just turn to what you can do with it. Sandy Sandy oh, yeah. says, uh, she, hey, now, I am I was an absolutely a Woodstock Stock hippie <laughs> and was a Repu Republican by choice for over 40 years. Does that mean you're not anymore? I'm curious. We were talking about this beforehand, like New York, we were so horrible. Now, Nate's got an interesting one. Nate, I think this works. Nate is getting ready to start doing ghost hunting. He's taking like classes on it and everything. If you get photo, if you get ghost photos, Nate, you could put this shit up in your ghost photos. That's that's an idea. Stay independent, Sandy. It's a much better place to be. Trust me. <laughs> uh, I'm with you 100 percent there. But no, so this is this is wild. So any other, you know, have you from this, have you been able to create any other spinoff businesses or, or spinoff type things? I have a, a lot of other ideas where as we grow, we're going to tap on to uh, the whole structure. We're going to do a, a family tree to where people can now do family trees within their family structure type thing. And now all the stuff you're saving, you can tap into it and go, oh, that's she's on my family tree. He's on my family tree. So we're going to do a family tree structure. Oh, I love it. We're going to do think, think, yeah. oh, that had me thinking, do, do, can, do you have like where the photos can be like where it picks up when like, Oh, 
there's seven pictures of this person and it can pick up the face. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like that'll do that on your phone. Like you can um, say, it. I don't maybe. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like if you go on your on like an iPhone, you can be like, hey, I want photos of myself only, and it'll just it scans all the photos and it's able to pick up your face and you can see all your your selfies. I never knew that, really. Yeah, the iPhone has a feature. If you go into photos, it says self selfies and it can pick up on faces or you could say, Hey, I want this person and it'll have a whole bunch of people that it's picked up uh, on the facial structure on. That's kind of cool. That's cool. So I was just wondering like with the family tree, that would be amazing. Like if 10 people from your family have ARCIDs, they're all uploading photos. This family tree can, can pick out from everybody's grouping yeah. all the faces. And then you can sit there and go, Oh, well, this is, Aunt Bonats, you know. Yeah, yeah, we're we're still kind of. I'm, I'm. I haven't really decided how I want to have the structure of it and stuff because. Oh well, come on, no, it is. God, I just, I, I just, I, just, I got to do a little bit of something different. But the one thing we are going to add to it. Here's here's a good one. It's called um, um, time tag. What is that? How would you be able to send a message to your uh, people within your family, like your great 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 grandson, maybe when they turn thirteen or sixteen? Oh no, shit! Like a uh, time capsule, kind of like a everybody that everybody within your family that say it turns thirteen or sixteen or eighteen, blah blah blah. They all of a sudden, boom! Here's the message from great 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 grandpa. This is so like something out of a Steve, not Stephen King, but uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, <laughs> Lucas Films, or uh, what was the other ones? The uh, where they were travel, one of those like oh, Back to the Future. Yeah, like one of these things where like all of a sudden it's like, here's your letter. How yeah, this- all of a sudden you get this ding. Oh, you know, you're turning 16 today. You're going to get that special message from grandpa. And all of a sudden it's like ding and everybody's sitting around going, oh, it's here, it's here. And you open it up and everybody, you know, it's like you're, you're, you know, hey, glad to see you've reached 16. And you're still, you know, your parents haven't killed you yet. This is great. <laughs> you've now received the family secret. You're 16 years <laughs> old. You of understand. course, you you can have fun with it too, to where you can leave, you can leave a message saying the gold is buried in such and such yard, yes. but it's somebody you don't like. Oh, that's even better. I love it. <laughs> then you're just an asshole. I'm I'm liking this already. We, we've got ideas here, folks. As you're if you're checking out and you're you're joining us right now, please make sure it's scrolling along the bottom of the screen. If for those of you that are watching the live, my art kit, A R and kit. Uh, myarkit.com. Go on there. Uh, you can get your 10, 10 gigs. It's a one-time fee. You pay the fee. It's there forever. Don't ask me how much. Take the two seconds and go on myarkit.com. Noah doesn't need to tell you how much it is. Take the two seconds and go check it out. Figure out if it what it is. You know, Save yourself. You can upload all these photos. You can do these things. I, I think it's, it's genius. Uh, it just oh, makes more sense. It's even better than that, Sean. Basically, what we do is when a person signs up, they sign up for 30 days free with no bank information so they can try it and they can piddle with it and they can see how to use it. I and love they don't want no bank information. Right. And if they basically don't want to buy it at the end of the 30 days, it reverts to a view only account to where they can still use this view somebody else's account. And, and you know what? I think Kim Kim just nailed something. Uh, if you're If you're somebody who knows... You know, and I hate to go with like, so you've got photos, you're going to die. Make sure you go ahead and upload those. But, you know, it's a reality that if you're if you know you have children or something that's going to happen and you want to have a message for them going forward throughout their, you know, when they're turning certain ages or things are going on in their lives, you could set that up like, hey, here's your birthday message each year. And that's where you can have the secret map and give them pieces of the secret map every year. <laughs> every 10 years, they get another piece of the map. Every 10 years, they get another piece. <laughs> and really all it is is a map to uh, – who was it that that told us they had a great Cinnabon recipe? Uh, <laughs> it was exactly. Awesome. All you finally dig it up and it says, this is the greatest recipe ever. It's for Sky Cinnabon recipe, so for cinnamon rolls. That's what it is. <laughs> the whole entire thing is keep going. You're that much closer to the end. And really, when it's all done, it's the secret is nutmeg. I love it. <laughs> it's all about the nutmeg. That's yeah, so also cool. when when you do make an upload, you choose to make it public or private. So sometimes a person wants to keep something private, and then when somebody passes away, uh, 
and they change it to a memorial account, everything becomes public. So some things you just maybe not want to share yet until that time. See, I, I think about it when, when other things like, uh, like I'm a collector. I, I love comic books. Oh, cool. Uh, and I have a huge collection of comic books and I'm thinking about things like when you go to insure things, the insurance company is always like, Hey, if you don't have a picture of it, it don't exist. Even if you told him like, no, there it is back there in the background of this picture. Yeah. No, we don't know if that was your house. Well, obviously it's my house. You could tell it's my house. No, we don't know. (laughs) This would be for insurance purposes. This is another one of those places where, because it's stored forever, you know it's in there, those individual photos of these things. Yeah, you can take a lot of times, just take serial numbers off of stuff. You know, you can have, it. So I'm assuming Sky must be your sister. She says, I'm just I'm curious, just, what, dad's I'm just curious do, what dad's going to do. Mess with, mess with with us. Us. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's buttermilk. Laugh out loud. It could. That's my daughter. Oh, that's your, oh, Sky, maybe he could, it, he might be oh, messing with you. you. You see her, you see her name? Skywalker. I love it. Yeah, she she started dating a guy, and it's just like, well, what's his last name? Walker. Oh, this will be great. That is so <laughs> awesome. Hey, but I named it, my kid Luke. His oh, name's. It Luke even get it, it. even gets better than that. You know how you can go and get online and buy that little piece, that one foot square piece from Scotland, and become yes. a lord or lady. Okay, she's now a lady of Scotland, and we named it Jedi. Uh, so now she can actually knight from the Jedi clan. Skywalker can knight you from the Jedi clan from actual Scotland. Sky, you are amazing. <laughs> I love the geekness to all of that. Uh, you're out in Washington State, so you have Emerald City Comic Con, or which is one that I want to go to out in Washington. That's the big one up in Seattle, which is Emerald City. I want to go to that. Never been. Oh, Actually, so- she's, she's married, and they're at Fort Drum in western uh, New York State. Oh, she's right up. Look, she is yeah. dead smack smack dab in the middle of the snow belt. I know exactly where she's. She's in Watertown. Yep, yep, yep. She's about two and a half, three hours from me. If she's in what, she's in Watertown. Oh my goodness, my cats are whacked out. My cats have been walking across the bar the entire time and just <laughs> made about a five foot leap from my bar to the video games, like it was no big deal. Sky, I wish you all the luck in the world. Uh, Fort Drum is one of the few bases that I know of where it is. It, yes, Snowmageddon. Snowmageddon is called Tuesday. Um, and it, have you been out there yet at all, Noah? To, to uh, we where? went out there uh, last Thanksgiving time, and we just by the time we were leaving, it was getting a little bit slushy, snowy, but we we missed all the bad weather. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's so weird. So, you know, the other day, you know, completely sidebar left turn for a moment. Uh, you know how the other day they were like Buffalo got 70 some inches of snow. Did you oh, see that? Oh, okay. Buffalo got like 77 or 76 inches of snow the other day. And they were like, this is insane. I worked for Amtrak and we would go through those areas. And I promise you that you would Buffalo might have had that Niagara Falls, which is like physically next to. Buffalo is the next town up, like Lockport and all that. I bet you they had seven or eight inches of snow. Oh, really? That big difference? It's huge. Like that, that snow, when when that lake effect comes through and that uh. band, that snow is in that area. And you go a couple miles north, a couple miles south of it, there's no snow. It's it's just, wow. you know, there's a couple inches. It's no big deal. There's an area uh. called Batavia, New York, that will get, that gets it like Buffalo Watertown gets it. Cause it's in the snow belt. Uh, yeah. It's just silliness. You should go to next time you're out here. Tell them to take you to tug Hill. It's the okay. tug Hill is the largest snowfall in uh, the, in, I don't know if it's just the continental United States or it's the entire North America, the largest snowfall. Wow. In, they really there. get the like effect. Oh, it's, it's all mountain. It's, the New York state has something crazy, like 300 miles of uh, snowmobile trails, like Ooh, state, state controlled snowmobile trails. Good memories there. Yeah. We we've got, we have friends that have a camp out there and we go out there. They have, they do like snow dio, which is a snow rodeo. Yeah. It's a blast, but you know what? You can take all your pictures yeah. out there and then you, you yeah, upload them to my art kit 
yeah. and you don't lose them. They had a gentleman asked earlier about making the albums. Mm-hmm. What we ha- what you have the capability to do is you can you can uh, or a person could bring up a picture, and they can hit download. They could download that picture. Okay. And then they can go. Then they can go to places like Shutterstock and other places or whatever and make an album. So we don't make physical albums, but we give you the capability of downloading a picture. And, and like you said, then and you can give permission to whoever whoever's got them. Whoever, yeah, you gotta get permission. They gotta get permission to you. So it's nice and private. It's great for families. So it's not everybody sitting there. We don't have no likes, no remarks, no gotta have likes, all man. that kind of stuff. We don't have that. So. And this might be a, an odd question. Um, oh, go for it. I, I'm I'm good at these. So, what is your what is your personal goal with this? You know, a, as an entrepreneur, you know, we we set goals for ourselves. Like, hey, this is where I want to take this to. This is what what my goal for my business was is is either you know passing it on to Sky so that it becomes yeah. you know Skywalker photos. You like it? Skywalker Walker <laughs> Art Kit Arc, the, the Skywalker Arc. I love it. I'm yeah. just created that one right there. You know, what is what is it that you would like to be able to do with it? I know, you know, you see some of these ones on TV and it's, hey, I want to get it to a certain point and then sell it off to, you know, a bigger corporation and <sighs> cash out for mil- mil- hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't really, you know, you want to be able to live off of it. I, I really wouldn't even know what to do with hundred million dollars, except probably call me, do something call stupid, me. you know, and call me. <laughs> call me. I can find all kinds of dumb. And uh, but I, I the, the thing I I would feel if I'm successful is we we build it to a point it actually, um, it's self preservation because actually a lot of percent of the money that people buy for their uh, um, their myarca lifetime account is actually reverted into. Uh, it's diversified funds to where we basically live off the interest, let's say. Smart. So it, it self feeds itself. And I would I would love to be able to just see it handed over because we're a C corporation. So we're, we're going to have stock, you know, we have stock and at some time it'll be uh, a entity there that will take care of it and, and it'd be an ongoing entity. So I'm not, if some, if a big corporation says, Hey, we ought to buy that. I don't really want that just so long as they, they treat the people good and they want to save the memories without, we, we don't have advertising because I don't like somebody looking at some personal stuff and all of a sudden you get something for preparation H come by. <laughs> yeah, Was this just, photo a pain in the ass to you? Get your uh, 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 <laughs> We put your finger on that. Yes. <laughs> did you, did, was this the picture of aunt Louise? Was she a pain in the ass? <laughs> Wait till you see preparation H. We can be a pain in the ass too. <laughs> I love it. See, you're missing it. We've got it. We've got a plan here. Will you here? Yeah. I've got my pain in the ass cat. I'm trying to get my kid to. Uh, I'm telling you, he's been all over the the entire basement. Okay. I'm surprised my two dogs have been nice and quiet. They're they're they're, they're being good. Oh, he's. Uh, we got two black cats that are as curious uh, as they come, and. I sent my wife a message. I'm like, come get this cat. She sent me <laughs> the, the other ones currently uh, laid up in t- across her. Like, she's like, I can't get him. I got one on top of me. Yeah, I can't get up, you know. The cat, the cat's abusing me. I, I just, I, I love the idea. And again, folks, check out my arc it.com. M A R K. Roll off the, roll off the tongue. My arc it. My arc it. My arc. My arc it. <laughs> <laughs> there's no art roll, roll there but i tried but uh, and they can oh, they can also go to events with an s events dot and that's the other thing you were talking about that's the i other, think yeah, that's, that's um, amazing from a the the wedding standpoint even just if if people who are wedding like wedding photographers themselves like it just seems like that would make sense for them to be like hey you know we can upload this to to this for you Oh, they can augment what they're doing. They get nice professional pictures. Then the whole rest of the wedding party, you got the, you know, before the wedding, you got the, you know, parties and all that kind of stuff. All this gets to go into an event and you can actually turn off the event and turn it back on again. Let's say when the 10 year anniversary comes around, it doesn't go away. You can just keep adding to it. Well, that's the other side to it is, is it never goes away. And it's like we said, it's that lifetime piece to so much of it where everything nowadays is, you know, for eight ninety nine, you could have this channel, you could have that channel, and you know, yeah. 
and when they, give, when they give you something for free, that's when it's really expensive. Yeah, isn't that the truth? That's yeah. a not as as they've all we've all been told our whole lives. Nothing is for free. Trust me. Nothing's for free. Nothing yeah. is. I'm from the so, government. And I'm here to help you. <laughs> I, what was it? I, a guy had a video up the other the other day. I just saw that that struck me. I was like, I guess I never put it in those perspectives, but it made sense. He goes, "You're a private citizen." Your information is supposed to be private. private. The government, they're public servants. Their information is supposed to be public. public. Problem is, is we've swapped that around. And I went, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that makes, yeah, no, he's right. No, what was yeah. it? There's so many of those things. But so any, any kind of like, do you go around with this and, and travel to like, any kind of shows or events or anything like that? Like, you know, they'll, they'll have like these uh, wedding shows or spring shows. Do you go to any of these type of events where? Well, not, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Because we, like I said, we're just going to bring that out in December. The other, the other part of it, um, number of uh, business stuff, a, a lot of stuff on social media, things like that, where, you know, my arcade is on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So we try to get the word out there. Um, and uh, it's a it's a it's quasi uphill battle because people can see the 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 um, the value in it, but since it's new, they're a little hesitant. So right. all you can do is just keep showing them and showing them and how it's working and give them the free opportunity to use it. The biggest thing you, you got to, even if you don't put it on my market right now, the biggest thing I can tell people is get the memories right now. I was able to get some audio and or some great video of my mother and my dad, but I missed getting anything of my brother oh. when, when he passed away. And it just, it just, you know, it's really just a big hurt, but you know, get those people that you love and then you want to get those, those memories and just sit them down and just, you know, just, just start chewing the fat and thinking about some, you know, some, maybe these little videos or just do the audio, just tell them to tell you a story about their first kiss or their first car or the first time they, you know, they, they, they robbed a bank, something like that. <laughs> dear, dear grandma, tell me about the first time you robbed a bank. Oh, oh, oh the first one was easy. <laughs> the first one, I was a little nervous, son. It was all right. <laughs> but, you know, we got in our Model T and we ran off. And it was just off into the sunset. Me and your grandfather. The yeah. things he would do to me. Was, grandma, it, please it stop. So beautiful. <laughs> please stop. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you. That man. Magic hands. <laughs> you know, please stop. okay we might have to get you put this, this go, 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 go. grandma stop <laughs> so I, the other thing i wanted to touch on with you Noah, and to me this is this is huge i know you said you've had the name for 10 years you're really pushing the my art kit now heavier the at the event stuff what about things that you would say to other entrepreneurs that they have an idea like this or they have something that they go hey i want to put this out there what was some of the things that you know either you wish you would have known as an entrepreneur now or you know you would tell to other entrepreneurs that are considering something like this oh the biggest thing is is follow the dream you know i've, I've been i've been showing this around for quite some time now and you get you get i even stood in line to do the uh oh what is that shark tank did you do shark tank yeah, and uh, we were freezing my ass off. I, hope that I said ass. And you're fine. And uh, <laughs> down by the Kingdom or down by the Tacoma Dome in Tacoma. And there, you know, they take everybody aside and you kind of tell them what you're doing. It's like, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, and I, that was really cool because you could see all the other entrepreneurs and their ideas. And the one thing that really strikes the nerve on there is they don't give up. You find out there might be a hurdle, we'll overcome that hurdle. Take all the feedback you can to make your product or your idea better. And when you get good information, let's say from the experts, remember, it's not always good information. You have to sometimes sit back and go, well, that was kind of dumb. And you, you kind of go by your own heart. You know, a lot of people, a lot of the big people that's made um, good industry and stuff like that have always been told no. And um, they just keep going. Now, now you, you bring up, you know, other people's advice. How about the, you know, when do you take the emotion out of advice? And what I mean by that is, 
you know, if somebody says to you, you know, you your whole website's the color blue just for something arbitrary. Your whole what website's the color blue, and somebody says, hey, you know, the color red really grabs people's attention better, but you want it to be blue because you're emotionally attached to that. When do you take the emotional yeah. attachment out of the advice? Uh, it's hard to do, but at the same time, um, you try to take everything with a grain of salt. You got to remember they're trying to possibly do something good for you. You know, they're trying to give you, even though it's just like, okay, red's a, a, you know, a, a bad color to use or something like that. But you, you just, you know, you, you, you got to be nice. You know, you got to take, you got to take, you got to take the arrows. You got to take the arrows and just pull them out of you. Keep going. Now, do you have somebody that's, that's your sounding board for those kind of things that you can just kind of, you know, a third party that you can say, hey, this is my, what, what's coming up here. And, you know, what do you think? I usually bounce uh, my wife first. She, she's your initial sounding board? She's my initial sounding board. And she'll sit there and say, really? Or, <laughs> or you know. <laughs> but babe, and, uh, I love this idea. It's stupid. Go back yeah, into the and, and usually I have to talk her into it. Yeah, but we could do this and it does that and it does that. And she'll kind of go, okay, keep going, keep going. And then she, you know, and she'll let me just keep going on and on and on and on about something. <laughs> now, is she like from a tech savvy standpoint with, with all this, what it was, she, were, were you and her always tech savvy people? Or I know you said you, you ended up, you know, saying, Hey, we got to hire somebody for the website yeah. and, and all the other pieces, yeah. but not yeah. non-tech savvy we're we we basically started this because from our hearts we know there was a need for it and that comes through um being older to where you see people passing away to where all of a sudden you've missed those opportunities you're lo you're losing the folks at, and you're losing those memories correct i, I like th those part of this you know in and of itself like I have of my sons, you know, I know only, you know, my, my personal, my biological children, only two of my sons, I don't know if my other, eh, he might remember him a little bit, but only two of them really remember my dad, you yeah. know, so two of, you know, two of them really remember him, did stuff with him. One probably has some limited memories, but. You know, that would be a huge thing to have something from my dad. I reference him all the time. He he was a, you know, as an adult, more than as growing up, he was a big influence on decisions I made. Yeah. You don't know, you don't know in life um, who, who even some of your friends are. I used to work at an old gas station back in the eighties. And the guy that was behind the register was this guy trying to make it to 70 hooked to an oxygen bottle. And um, I was talking, it's Frank. And I was talking to him one time and he said, oh, he was in World War II. And I go, oh, that's interesting. What'd you do? He was a B-17 pilot. No shit. Working at a gas yeah. station with an oxygen thing. Where uh, trying to get the 70 so you can get the better social security. God, I love the VA in, in our government. <laughs> I love the VA. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one of the, the first time I really went over to a, a meeting one time was over in Redmond, Washington, you know, where all the Microsoft guys are. Okay. And, and it was a it was a real a minor meeting with people that had ideas and stuff like that. And some people kind of bounced some things off of it. And I had my idea I was kind of presenting because I was, I was getting a sounding board from people totally out of the out of the blue what what they think. And it's sometimes those people that you, that push you forward to do it. And this, there was this lady there that she understood the concept because she had lost her husband. And she was now uh, raising her two younger children that now have very limited memory, if any, of her husband, of their dad. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if he would have had a, 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 you know, a, a lifetime account, let's say for a number of years, you get it, you add to it, you add to it, you add to it. If he passed away, that is still there for the kids. Yeah. Like that portion of it in and of itself, you know. I, I hate to say to somebody like, Hey, if you got somebody in your life, you know, they're elderly or, you know, reaching that point, you may want to, you know, this would be an amazing Christmas gift to be able to provide to somebody to say, Hey, you can go on here, upload some memories and make some comments, you know, for the, for the kids. I know my one grandson, his gra other grandfather passed away last year and 
the younger kids really will never like he's nine, but the younger ones will have no real memory of him. He does because he you know, had years with him. Hey, something starting in 30 minutes. Somebody's calendar. Is that yours or mine? Yeah, that's Alexa back over there doing something. Her and me get into it all the time. Alexa, relax. Oh, don't say that. She'll, she'll give me, she, she has an attitude. Oh, don't they? Like, oh, I love like, like one of my favorite things to do. I have to cover my own. Is, <laughs> don't say the name. <laughs> is during the show. I like to be like, hey, Siri, subscribe me to the Above the Bar podcast. And then everybody who's out there is using this is they're all of a sudden their shit's going off and being like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. <laughs> you, know, you, you got to do that every so, so often. Uh, Sandy wants to know, was there a coupon code? I signed up. There's a coupon Sandy. code. A lot of times that is if somebody um, you can buy it as a gift and there's a code generated and then they can give the code to anybody in anywhere and they put that code into the coupon and actually uh the 30 day thing i think when you get towards the end of it it also gives a, a discount well there you go sandy i think i think what noah's trying to say is he kept your coupon code and um <laughs> you're not getting it sorry <laughs> we're, we're selling it we're selling your coupon code on ebay oh do you know yeah, yeah. Do that, right? along do with that, the dvd rewinder yeah you know, that's a thing though, right? Selling yeah. like comic books in the back of all the Marvel comic books. There's a scratch off spot now where you can get a digital version of the comic book. Uh, that's no so fun. People go onto eBay now and put those digital codes on eBay and sell that code. So you can get the comic book for like, get the comic book again. Uh, it's wild. I liked it. I liked eBay the one time somebody was selling a invisible Xbox. And people were bidding on it. I love it. Was, is that like the when the PlayStation 4 came out and somebody was selling a picture yeah. of a PlayStation 4 and people spent like hundreds and hundreds of dollars? And they said it right in the thing. They was like, this yeah, is this just is the picture. picture. It's not the actual. Yeah. And people still barred it. Kim, I'm uh, with you. I think I starting an account for kids is genius. It You know, you start a bank account because they'll have a bank account for their lifetime. This is the type of thing you can start it. They can have memories for a lifetime and they can put those things on there that matter to them that, yeah. you know, what's that picture that was going around for a while? Uh, it's a bunch of kids on bicycles and they're like, Hey, at some point we all didn't realize it, but this was the last night that we would all do this together. Yeah. Yeah. Just, it, just yeah, yeah. Yeah. You never know. I, I originally grew up in Iowa and I have, tons of memories back there but that was back in the old days of film so you're, you're trying to scrape through who's got this picture who's got that picture you know nowadays everybody's got six zillion pictures in their phones and oh god just a lot of memories i couldn't imagine like i'm just grabbing my phone for a second see if my phone will tell me how many, how many pictures how many photos are on this thing all photos is there let's see albums um so just in under where it says recent Nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-seven. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh my god, under there. And, and then as I scroll down, it like breaks it down. Uh, screen. Why do I have a? Why do I have one hundred and sixteen screenshots? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why I have a hundred. You, you never go back through your stuff and delete, delete, delete. I, I don't. Well, I never. I'll take that back. I do go back through and delete a lot of stuff. But as I'm looking, I'm like, why is there 116 screenshots? I'm like, where the hell did that even? <laughs> oh, you what? might have. Went, you had a lot of those times, especially I know with my phone, you'll grab it to put it away in your pocket and you accidentally do a screenshot. Yeah. No, I, I do that all the time. Uh -huh. And but yeah. And here's there's that thing I was telling you about selfies. So like it's got every time I've ever done a selfie on my phone. <laughs> and there's also all these videos that I have no idea where they yeah. came from. Yeah, well, if like I give, I, yeah, if I give some advice to uh, the first thing to do out there for people is to get your devices, your old phones, your old uh, tablets, your old computers and start getting all that stuff off of those devices, either into a, a backup drive or something, because I got I got a pile of phones. I still can't sometimes get stuff off of it still. 
So start well, I, migrating geez. all that good stuff over, and then you got to start piling through it, and then you get some good stuff, and then you start putting that into albums you like, and then put it onto my art kit. Yeah, no. And again, folks, that's myartkit.com, M Y A R K I T.com, uh, which is perfect with the name like Noah and my art kit. If y'all even figured it out, Noah's art kit, you know, it all works together. If you haven't figured that portion of it out, I'll help you out. <laughs> you're a little slow. If you're a little holding the slower on the upload, let me go ahead and help you out there for a moment. But brother, we're going to get ready. We're going to wrap this thing up here real quick. But um, so they can go to myartkit.com, find you. In, your Instagram is myartkit.com. Your Facebook, you have myartkit.com. Obviously, the website, myartkit.com. Um, Twitter's myartkit.com. Right. Any other place I'm missing uh, right now? Events.myartkit.com. And and that's the one where you're talking about. You just that just kicked off, going into like wedding and holiday season. I, I truly believe, folks, as you learn more about this, this is the type of thing that would be a great gift for the family, for somebody in your family for the holidays. That you know, especially you know, if you're like, well, heck, like Noah, and myself, Noah's daughters, you know, out here by me. My mom's down in Baltimore six hours away she doesn't get to see all these things but a simple album where you can upload it that you know isn't going to go anywhere that's perfect in the, and they can share those type of things again myartkit.com uh can't say enough good things about it definitely something to, to check out uh as we're getting ready to close up the bar here real quick again folks if you're if you like what noah's got going on please go go like subscribe follow him on instagram and all those different places if you found us through noah Please get on here, follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, uh, Instagram, TikTok. It's all the Above the Bar podcast, even our email, the Above the Bar podcast at gmail.com. Give us a like, give us a follow. You have no idea what it means to go on to Apple and give this a five star rating and give us a nice comment. That's how this grows. That's how Noah's business grows. Because you give us a five star, Apple sees that, people hear Noah's story, they're able to go find him easier because they find out, well, what the hell is this guy talking about? How to protect your digital memories? How, what's this person talking about? How to, you know, what to do with your digital photos? They find this through through us. So please, if you're finding us here, go into whatever your social media or your uh, podcast platform that you'll listen to this one. Give us a five star, give a nice comment. It is greatly appreciated. Again, also, we've got this giveaway going on. We got this big giant giveaway. Two different, uh, I don't have any Apple accounts. Well, Sandy, do you have a Spotify account? You can do it through Spotify. You can do it uh, Podbean. We're on Podbean if you listen to it. You can go on to YouTube and give us a, a big like on YouTube. Any one of those places where you can find us. You And just here right on Facebook where you found us. Follow us on, follow this page on uh, Facebook. Give us a like and a follow. All of it is appreciated. Um, but all that being said, we've got the two giveaways. Our friends over at Phoenix Shaving have given us two of their uh, shaving kits. What do you think, Eric? No, you gonna you gonna you gonna try to get it? I mean, you got a pretty good. That mustache. does sound awful. For, I, I I'm gonna look into that. That sounds cool. I mean, it, 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 they're so cool. And I'll tell you, I'm a I like old school smells. Bay rum is one of my favorite smells in the world. And uh, it, do you remember solid colognes? Or we're a, we're of similar ages. Uh... Solid colognes mm. instead of the old wet colognes where everybody used to use aftershave, they sell the solid oh, yeah. colognes that are like in a little container and you just rub your finger on it and it's almost like a wax type material and it's, huh. and it doesn't like it doesn't stain your clothes or nothing like that. Love it. And Bay Rum, ask my wife, she loves the smell too. So go uh, go find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, all those different locations. You'll see uh, we've got this going on. Get your entries in. You can enter every day. On the 14th, we're going to draw the two winners. Whoever wins this, they're going to get those kits, and hopefully they'll be out to you by uh, Christmas. Can't promise that, but even if you're looking, you know what the other side to it is? Or did your did your parents, like my mom was this person, did your parents always keep like a wallet kit or like a fingernail male grooming kit or something like that off to the side in case – a random boyfriend or something showed up for uh, the holidays, they could give them a gift. <laughs> Did you ever have anybody in your family like that? I had, uh, what was the old kits used to get in the military? What did they call those? You, you talk, like, MR, MREs? 
No, not the MRE. Oh, it's a like, shaving kit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, like a hygiene kit. Yeah, hygiene. Yeah, kit. yeah. I can always remember my dad having that. I think he, I think he had that from his when he was in the Korean War. Yeah, like I, I had family members that would always keep like these packaged up Christmas gifts and put them off to the side, and they were like ten dollars that they picked up somewhere. But it would be like a wallet and a keychain. And if you, sh- if somebody's like a boyfriend or a girlfriend showed up to a holiday and nobody was expecting them they could run off into like the spare bedroom wrap it up and be like here we had this for you <laughs> and you felt like there was something for it yeah now, sandy, now. sandy you're in the army pardon me sandy says she was she was in the army uh yeah it's oh, it's so- just a great great idea love my my art kit so make sure you're giving uh, that's awesome we'll have to talk talk let me know who you're who are you with there uh he's just not let me bring sandy stuff up things being a thing but uh but yeah make sure everybody gives us a like follow uh do not as we always say on here don't log off on me when we're completely done here no i got to talk to you for just a moment no problem as as we do on every episode the guest always oh we got one more disabled vet same i we could do a whole show on how to get through the va we'll talk about that one day oh Um, yeah yeah that's a whole thing in and of itself um But as we do on every episode, the guest always gets the final word. So what is the final word from you there, Noah? Usually my final word is don't procrastinate. Life is short. If you want to give somebody a present of my orchid, it's really great to share it with them. That means you load it up or whatever with them. And then you sit down with grandma or grandpa and you get the stories. It's a great, fantastic family thing to do together. Alrighty, folks, be sure to push your stool in. This has been an Earplug Podcast presentation found on EarplugPodcast.com, iTunes, SoundCloud, and wherever your favorite podcasts are found.